Welcome to Big Smile Reviews. Today we're gonna be reviewing The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass for the Nintendo DS. Awesome game. Link gets to go on such a fantastic adventure. My favorite adventure, my favorite Zelda game. <laughs> hey, come on, come on. Don't eat him, don't eat him. Let's check out the gameplay because it's out of this world. So this game here uses touch screen all the time. Amazing touch screen moves. Look at that, you can catch little little chickens, as usual, you know, like in all the Zelda games. You can throw them around, you can stab them with your sword. So you can do the spin attack. And check it out, my sword is a fire sword right now. And look, if you look now, my sword can shoot these ice icicles. Check it out. Now in this game, you do have the fantastic use of tons of different amazing items. Check it out. You have the bone arrow. You also have the great boomerang. Wait, we gotta be careful here. This is a bomb that I really like to use. Check it out. You draw a little path for this bomb to take. Look at that. And it's gonna go that way. Now on the top screen, you see you see the map. And check out what you can do. Go into menu. Map. The map gets pulled down and, and then this becomes the screen. And you can write all sorts of things here. You can doodle. You see this is a shop. So you see already, you got so many awesome tools, the boomerang, the hook shot, the hammer, it's all so awesome, you got the fire sword, the ice sword, it's so cool, there's so much stuff to do here, you're so lucky, this does is such a lucky guy! Okay, so let's see, we got, we got a map, and look, it's so dirty. There we go, you see, blown into the microphone, we clean it! And check this out, because this is, this game does continue after the... Wind Waker on the GameCube, you, you sail a lot, and you have these really, really cool sailing parts. You sail it from island to island. You see you got fish here, which you can bomb. But check it out, beautiful scenery. Look at the beautiful graphics. Look at the camera. You can switch it any way you want. Check out Link right here. It's, you can get different parts for your ship. You know, I find it that very few adventure games actually manage to capture Im your imagination so well as a Zelda game, you know. The way, the way the story just progresses here, the way it all works, you know, so well, it's just fantastic. And the humor in this game is also just so good, you know, really just... Look at that, he wants 50 rupees for a cannon. And he thinks that's a lot. Check out this postman, what? How did they come up with this guy? You know, you meet some of the best, the most amazing characters in this game. Uh, they really did a great job on sailing this time. It's a great improvement from Wind Waker. It's so much more interesting now. You got all these enemies coming up all the time, randomly. And, and I'm just surprised. How is it that they managed to get it so well? Look at that. How is it that they managed to create these monsters so interesting, you know? It is a difficult job. Look at that. Go behind him and slice him up. <laughs> it's like in this game, you are the Indiana Jones. You find a little cave with a little map. But now you use this map, you see, and you compare it with your current map. So you start off here, and you see you just trace it around like that. And you gotta be careful to get it exactly right. Of course, in true Zelda fashion, every island has its own unique thing going on. Look at that. Here, this is the island of uh, wind. And check this out, huh? Now, I have to admit, I do find the tempos just a little bit short in this game. But they are just so much fun, even though... However, I still wish they were just a little bit longer. Because it's just, it's just great. The stuff that you do here is just great. The way you use the touch screen the microphone and everything is, is fantastic, you know, it's like you really are, do feel like you, you take a great part in the game like never before, you know. So this is, yes, this is my favorite Zelda game, definitely. Because this game is just, is just fantastic, you know. It's nothing like you saw on the Wii. It takes it way beyond that. And this really does push the console, the DS, to its limits, you know. And, and really, that is what, it, what it's supposed to do. Look at that, look at that. The 
enemies, the adventures, the puzzles. It's all just too good. It's all just too fantastic. And it does get challenging, believe me. This gets really challenging. Some of these puzzles are just... Really, they will have you scratching your head and tearing your hair out, thinking, what on God's earth am I supposed to do here? And then once you think about it, you'll be like, for God's sake, why didn't I think of that from the very beginning? I just can't praise this game enough. It's fantastic. It's perfect. It's my favorite Zelda. The best adventures, the best enemies, the best puzzles, the best things of the DS. It's so good. I just wish we got more games like this. It's worth getting a DS just for this. Thank you very much for watching. Big smile reviews. Tell me what you think of this game. Tell me what you think of this just right here. He wants the whole adventure and he's here with me. It's an awesome to have a friend like this. Yes, it is. <laughs> bye bye.